Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a lifted Mazda CX-30. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Orm Mazda here in Orm, Utah for giving me some time with this CX-30. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And on a side note, they can also lift the CX-5 and the CX-50. I think a CX-50 Meridian with a lift looks so cool. But anyways, we're going to be focusing on this car, but I thought I'd mention that. So like I said, link to their website in the description down below. And then as always, on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description description down below. Worst intro ever, but let's get into it. Powering this is a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 26 around town and then 33 on the highway. And that was before the lift, just saying. And then power outputs are 191 horsepower and then 186 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, instead of doing a full review on the CX-30, which I will be coming out with a full review for the 2024 model year once they get some of those 24s in, we are going to focus on the lifted part of this because that's kind of what this video is all about. So first off, with the tire wheel setup, it is 225, 60, 18 in the front and in the rear. You guys can see we have stock wheels, but obviously we've got these all-terrain tires pretty aggressive it's crazy to see this on a Mazda because you just don't think like this type of stuff is going to be on a Mazda but it looks really cool and if we take a few steps back I mean you can see with like the overall profile of the vehicle it definitely has a much more like bulky aggressive look I mean you guys can see obviously not a CX-30 it's a CX-5 but like this thing just looks crazy next to like any regular Mazda now the lift itself is a 1.5 inch lift so here's a quick look at the suspension setup we'll talk about how this drives during the driving portion so obviously it's not just throwing all-terrain tires on it's actually raising the suspension to give it a little bit more ground clearance and to actually frankly fit the tires you can especially see with the back tire there that things are a little bit tight and i like the splash guards and everything and then you guys can see we have the mazda roof rail system here so it kind of adds to the off-roader pizzazz of this particular cx30 and then quickly in terms of like the spec on this car you guys can see with the exterior and then we've got the red interior which i think is a really cool contrast actually it looks really good and so this one's pretty fully loaded show you guys the window sticker in a little bit we found the gauge cluster but you guys can see you got stuff like dual zone climate you got heated seats you know you got the normal control stack here with the infotainment system and everything and i think that the cx30 just has the yeah, reverse camera it doesn't have the it doesn't have ford camera or anything like that um, but it also has a center so yeah more of a uh, loaded up cx30 so here's a quick look at the window sticker for the CX-30. This one's a carbon edition. Um, so you guys can see 31,080 is the original, you know, total MSRP. Now, obviously this has the options from the lift. Um, so I don't know what's upside down, but anyways, we've got window tint, which is 200 bucks. And then the 1.5 inch lift kit, uh, 1,250 bucks roughly. And then the tires, you're just under a thousand bucks for that. So that brings the total price of the options to 3,700 bucks. So that brings the total MSRP to just over 34 or just under $35,000 rather. So, I mean, compared to other lifted builds that I've reviewed, that's pretty reasonably priced. Most of the times when I review lifted cars, it's like the lift itself is like three to five grand. And so, yeah, anyways, let's see how this drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors do a blind spot honoring. And throughout the rest of the rear, and well let us set off in this lifted cx30 i am super excited to see how this thing drives um and if you guys want to see more reviews like this on strange modified vehicles like this i guess is what i'll call this and sorry i gotta adjust this a little bit falling off my head apparently mega is falling off my head there we go maybe kind of Okay, I quit. We'll just deal with it. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, then let me know and I can see what I can uh, pull together. But, ooh, punchy right off the bat. Wow. Um, initially setting off, seems pretty comfy. Drives like a regular CX-30. Doesn't seem like it drives any different. It does feel a little bit more vague compared to a regular CX-30, like there's a little bit more steering vagueness, which makes sense. That's what happens when you lift a vehicle. So that 
that part makes sense. Ride quality is really good though. You know, whenever you do bigger tires, right, the extra sidewall acts as like a secondary shock absorber. And so it always leads to more ride comfort. So I think that that's a plus. I like how this, the braking's fine. Sometimes when you do bigger tires, it can make braking a little bit difficult with vehicles, but this does fine. And it seems like, the, I, I would think that you'd want to do this with a turbo engine, but it seems like this naturally aspirated engine is doing just fine with moving the tires. So I think that's a big plus. Um, some other stuff, I really like this carbon edition interior. Like you've got soft touch all over, like even the dash up here, it's all soft touch. It's interesting how this is like really firm and then this is like squishy. <laughs> it's just different with that. I mean, yeah, getting into it a little bit more than I might with a normal CX-30, but it doesn't seem like it's too bad. We'll pop into the sport mode. See how that is. Do I have it in sport mode? Yeah, I do. I was gonna say, I, I got confused. Help me. <laughs> Anyways. That's pretty dang good. It really is not struggling to move these. So like the turbo obviously would be even better with moving these tires and everything, but this doesn't seem like it struggles. So it seems like they've They've struck a pretty good balance with this, at least what I'm feeling so far. And... <laughs> I mean, the top end I think is where it kind of feels like it dies off a little bit. A little bit, but it's not bad. But man, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought this was gonna be gutless with a capital G. <laughs> it's definitely not. So that that impresses me. And again, it's so easy to drive. Um, I think that Crosstrek in front of us also has, yeah, they, they also have all-terrain tires. The Crosstrek has the lifted Mazda CX-30 package. And I guess the Crosstrek's a good thing to talk about. That's kind of what I imagine this competes against with the lift and everything is the Subaru. Uh, you know, the CX-30 is already supposed to be a cross-track competitor, but this kind of goes more towards that, what Subaru's doing with the off-roading stuff. But the thing that I'll say that's a big benefit of this over the cross-track is a few things. First off, interior. This interior feels way more upscale. Um, fit and finish is better than what you have in Subaru. Um, so this just feels like a much more premium product overall. And then on top of that, the ride quality is better, better insulation and then no CVT, right? This has an actual torque converter automatic. That's a big plus, it's a big difference. And then, yeah, the power's better too. This has more, this has more power than a Crosstrek. It feels more powerful too. So yeah, I think that it, I think I'd, you know, if I, if I were to have a smaller adventure vehicle, I'd have, I'd rather have this than the Crosstrek. But let me know if you disagree with me on that one. So, to fully cap things off with this CX-30, this lifted CX-30, super interesting. It drives well. The naturally aspirated four-cylinder can move it, can move the tires, which is surprising. And, you know, I don't really have anything, I'll be honest, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, what I would say is I would love to review, like, see, you can see CX-50 Meridian, that with this lift, I think that would be really cool to see. And I mean, it makes sense because Meridian's already supposed to be kind of like an off-road package. I will say his backup camera, you cannot see. <laughs> you cannot tell the elevation that's happening. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys think about this lifted CX-30. Do you think that people, like, do you think that this should even exist? Like, do you think this is kind of like silly or are you all about it? And yeah, would you think this would also do, I think this would be better with a turbo, but do you think that you need the uh, turbo uh, to have this package?